Shereen Jones from Healthy Now New York. That's healthynowny.com. And I'm here tonight to show you a quick meal, a quick spring meal that I'm going to put together with um, some vegetables from my refrigerator that are looking a little worse for wear because I haven't been to the grocery store maybe as often as you know I might typically go during the um, during this coronavirus pandemic. Um, so I want you to know that you can make a meal from vegetables that maybe you might be considering throwing out, but right now I think it's good for us to use all the resources that we can. Um, so to that end, I am making what I have called spring pasta, and I'm using asparagus, which are these lovely harbingers of spring. Um, of course, we get them all year round now because we get them from South America or other places, but um, if you do go to your grocery store, um, you may see some signs that say local fresh asparagus, and that's really exciting. That means spring. And I'm also using leeks, which are another springtime vegetable. Oh, that was the end. Mine uh, came sort of pre-trimmed. This is the way they sell them in a bag like this at Trader Joe's, but you might see the ones with the long green, um, with the long green stalks or leaves. Um, so you, you, you wanna trim those off and I'm gonna show you how to trim these. I'm also gonna use uh, green peas. Those will not be, those are also a spring vegetable, but those will be frozen. Um, so who knows when they were picked. And they're great to um, add to a dish right at the end because they cook very quickly and they are filled with protein. So um, that will just make your meal complete. Um, especially if you decide not to use any animal protein such as chicken or sausage, which by the way, you could throw into this if you wanted to. But those are gonna be my three vegetables that I'm gonna use. Um, I would love to use some, some herbs, some fresh herbs, and unfortunately I have none left except for parsley, so I may throw some of this in. Um, at the end, I wish I had some dill. I think that would be delicious. And then at the end, we're gonna finish the dish with some lemon zest and lemon juice. Um, I also like to, at the end, toss my vegetables. This is me, personally. I like to do it with something creamy, dairy-based, um, uh, creme fraiche or sour cream, or in my original iteration of this, I did it with dollops of ricotta. But let's say that's not your thing. Um, you don't do dairy um, or you want to keep this vegan so you might want to use a broth instead or just toss it with your olive oil um, um, I'm gonna I could use some chicken broth I'm not gonna do that I am going to use instead pasta water that I will toss in towards the end to sort of give it some liquid um, in addition to the olive oil and then I'm going to add in my cream and the lemon zest and uh, the lemon juice and it's going to be delicious. So right now I'm just going to quickly show you how I prepare my leeks um, and I cut off the, sort of the dry ends and because these leeks have been lurking in my fridge for a while I'm going to take off this outer layer because it just looks a little dry. You might look at it and say oh that looks terrible I need to throw it out. Don't. You can just peel those. Oh and the other thing leeks. Okay so you don't have leeks in your fridge. You can use an onion for sure. I thought I had an onion to show you, but you know what an onion looks like. So definitely, you can use an onion. Let's say you bought a bunch of green onions, scallions. So use those instead. I mean, you can use whatever you want um, for your aromatic um, part of the dish. And so we're gonna cut our leeks into thin half moons, or thick, or however you like to do your leeks, or your um, scallions, let's say, if you're doing scallions. Um, and we're gonna chop those up, and then I'm gonna throw them over here in a colander, and then I'm gonna rinse them with my hands um, to try to get all the grit and dirt that might be in between all these um, beautiful layers and the leeks. So the leeks are done. Next, um, we have our asparagus, and these asparagus are looking pretty dried out, uh, but I think they're still gonna be fine, and we're gonna find the place in here where it breaks nicely, and when it breaks, it has this great pop so you can you know have fun breaking your asparagus it does seem like a lot of waste and I don't like that about uh, this part of it and boy I sh certainly wish I composted and that's something I need to look into um, you could peel the ends 
you would have to peel quite a bit down, but that's a, another way to not um, have to get rid of so much. Now, some of the uh, tips of my asparagus, you wanna notice this if you have vegetables lurking in your uh, refrigerator, look kind of a little, really kind of yucky. And those you wanna be sure and cut off because those will just not taste good at all. And then once I have these um, asparagus, the ends trimmed and the tops are taken care of, I'm just gonna cut them into little rounds like this. You don't have to do it that way, you could do them long, however you want. And there we go. And first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna saute the leeks in whatever um, sort of fat you wanna use. I'm using a combination of butter and oil because that's just something I like, but certainly you could just stick with the olive oil if you wanted to keep it without any dairy. Um, after the leeks saute for a little bit and soften up, I will throw in these asparagus. They will not take long. Meanwhile, hopefully my pasta will be cooking. And before I pour, drain the pasta, I will take out a cup of the pasta water. Um, and I'll be zesting my lemon while I'm waiting. I'll maybe be squeezing some lemon juice. I'll get out my peas from the freezer. Um, I'll salt and pepper everything. And then I'll throw in my peas. I will toss in some of the pasta water and I will then drain the pasta, throw the pasta in, and then I'm gonna to toss it with a little bit of this creme fraiche. Um, once again, you don't have to, you could just toss it with some olive oil, put a sprinkling of lots of herbs if you happen to have those lurking in your fridge, and um, top with some lemon zest and lemon juice. So that's it, it's really easy, and I'm gonna come back at the end and show you the finished product. I, I'm here to show you this fabulous pasta, excuse me, pasta dish that I made in probably about 10 minutes, start to finish, um, between taking some you know, older looking veg from my fridge, some frozen peas, which are always great to have to keep in your, um, your freezer ready to go at a moment's notice, heating up some water for my pasta, and I've got this great dinner with three vegetables, some pasta, I put a little creme fraiche, you could use olive oil, um, you don't have to use it, and my lemon zest, um, I could sprinkle on some fresh herbs if I had them. I do have some parsley, so I might do that. I opted not to use any dried herbs, but certainly if you wanted to put those in. If you had some chicken, some cooked chicken, you could throw that in, or maybe some sausage, I, you know, whatever you think, whatever floats your boat, as I like to say. But this is a quick and easy um, dinner to have to have in the back of your mind to think about using any veg. I mean, you could use zucchini instead of the asparagus. And something else that I have used in the past, which is gonna sound a little strange, is um, romaine. Um, romaine lettuce in a lot of parts of the world are uh, used, uh, used um, as sauteing vegetables, a lot of times because people aren't completely sure about the cleanliness of them, and so it's best to just go ahead and cook them. It may also just be, you know, certainly the style and the taste. Um, the romaine actually keeps its crispness, crispness when it is sauteed. It's delicious. And so sometimes I've made this and I've um, you know, sliced up romaine and put it in towards the end as well. So you have your salad and with your pasta dish. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Shereen Jones, Healthy Now New York. I hope you enjoyed this and we'll try it.